Okay, so if you come to the inn at any time on the final day, or even on the second day if you haven't delivered Anju's letter to Cafe, then her mother will actually be running the inn, and we can talk to her. Well, I'm going to take off this mask first and just see what we get. I'm sorry, we're going to be taking refuge in the, even in the evening like the others. You should run too, it seems it's going to fall tomorrow morning. But if you talk to her wearing Cafe's mask... Let's see. <gasps> Don't speak to me wearing such an unpleasant mask! Wow. We definitely struck a nerve there, and from that scene we saw last night, I'm not surprised. Jeez. God, I started with like a full freaking thing of coke, like a big glass of coke, not just a can. A whole tall glass. And it's already down like halfway now, because I've just been drinking it periodically. And I'm not even like halfway done with this whole freaking uh, recording, probably. Well, I might be halfway done, I don't know. Possibly. Okay, I found something else. Interestingly enough, if you come to the trading post on the final day, then the man the normal manager's not here. The, you know, the guy who also runs the curiosity shop, he's not here. It's this guy instead. Welcome. Let's talk to him. Man, I just work here part time, so I don't really know this stuff. Hmm. All right, and we'll leave. And if you talk to him wearing cafe's mask, nah, I don't know that kid. And the manager's not here right now, so I really can't help you. Hmm. So apparently the manager disappeared off to somewhere. And where that is, we don't really know. Oh my god! No! I didn't mean to activate you! Shut up! Unless you're gonna tell me something about Cafe that I don't already know. Shut up! Yeah, I don't care. Put on your little nightcap, whatever. God damn. God damn, Deku's. Okay, guys, I'm back now, and... Well... <laughs> I'm back now, like it's been like an episode or something. Well, maybe I did cut between episodes, I don't know. But, if you come to the cafe's place, at any time before 1pm on the final day, it'll say it's locked. Dot dot dot. Whoa, that was a weird camera angle there for like a second. But, at 1pm, which will be any second now. Well, any minute now, I guess for Link. And now it's 1pm, you can actually head in. I don't know what's supposed to tip you off that you can head in at around 1pm, but, I don't know. Because usually there's, in the cyclist there's been something to tip you off, whether it's following the postman or whatever, but... As we know, Cafe is not here because he went and followed Sakan after we, he saw him last night. So, let's talk to this guy here, the curiosity shop owner. Huh? You the green hat kid? I got a message from Cafe. Now Cafe, I've known him since he was real little. But when he showed up looking all young in that brat body, I didn't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Keaton mask he was wearing for me to realize that I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago, when he was just a little cafe. Didn't know he kept it that well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. And we get the Keaton mask, for whatever reason. This is cafe's me mask of memories. Accepting this keepsake doesn't make much sense to you, but you'll take it anyways. <laughs> of course. Of course we will. We gotta do it. Now cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. Alright. And here we have the express mail to mama. This is priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it. A customer came to my shop last night. Now Cafe sees him, and Cafe's color just changes and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy thief named Sakan. I think he lives in Icona Village. Uh, you listened to his memories. This was added to your notebook. And you were asked to deliver priority mail. Yep. So with that priority mail, mail there's actually two ways you can deliver it to Cafe's mother. And I will have to show both anyways, because you need to do both to get 100%, which is exactly why you need to do the side quest twice to get 100%. But we won't be doing that until actually later on. So for now, um, we could just go to Akana Canyon and find Cafe. He's probably lurking somewhere around Sakan's hideout. I mean, he followed him last night, so I imagine that's where Sakan went back to if, you, if he had followed him there. But, right now, you can actually use this key mask. There's only one use for it in the game that I know of. If you guys know of any others, then feel free to tell them to me. Man, this freaking Pikachu mask. Look at this. Jeez, this mask. I, is this, like, the only mask that returns from the previous game? Well, I don't think it is. The Mask of Truth was in the previous game. Um, the Bunny Hood was. Duh. Okay, so there's a few of them. Yeah, I think even, like, the Goron and Zora mask were in it. They didn't transform you, but... But if you come up to this little circle of grass, and you have to, while wearing the Keaton mask, you destroy all of them at the same time with a spinach actor and all like that. Then you can collect the rupees if you want, and after a little bit, 
Uh, hey, who's this? It's a Keaton, it looks like. And I love the music that plays during this thing, by the way. Yo, look at you. Hello, Chad. If you're attending the fool of me, it is impossible. We Keatons can recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. Well, Link's tail isn't very sheeny, so I get it. But you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. And we get a little bit of a quiz here, so this is interesting. How old is Tingle, the map salesman? Um, 35. 35 and feeling alive. Answer me this. How many cuckoos are there in the barn at Romani Ra I, I don't know, two. What? My training is insufficient. Fuck you! Okay, guys, apparently if you lose that Keaton quiz, then he won't come back to the same spot. So you have to get that right on the first try, but thankfully there's a few areas, but I only know of two, that you can access Keaton. This is the, old, this is the other, only other one I know. So we're going to try this again here. This is Milk Row, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Alright, and here's Keaton again. I don't know if it's the same one, but it is a Keaton. Alright, let's see. Where does Kremi, the manager of Romani Ranch, try to deliver her milk? Um, the milk bar? Obviously. Answer me this. Darmani is of which race? Oh, that's easy. That's a Goron. Duh. Okay. How many tiny cow figurines are there in clock? Oh, God. There's a ton. Ten? Yes! Awesome. Ask me this. What is the name of the vintage milk sold at the milk bar? Oh, we know that. It's <laughs> Chateau Morani. <laughs> Romani Run. I'm sure to give you the runs if you drank too much of it. Okay. Uh, how many mailboxes are there? Oh, goodness. Five? Yes! Sweet! Okay. Yo, good. Very good. Take this as a prize. And we get one of our final heart pieces. Jeez. Just six more to go. Let us meet again, child. Yo! Alright. And that is the only use for the Keaton mask. Um, I never actually showed off the other use for this, for the mask of truth. I might as well now. You can actually talk to Gossip Stones just like in the previous game. Okay. The spirit of the charismatic dancer who died in Termina Field dances there night after night. Guess I was talking about Kamaro. Alright, so now that we're done with that Keaton mask, there's really nothing else to do except go and find Cafe. See if we can't help him get his mask back. Because, I mean, we're in this for long haul now. There's no turning back. Except for time. Whoa. starting to get sick of that freaking blood red screen where you warp on but uh, I'm not gonna have to go through it much longer and that's kind of sad because this is like one of the final episodes of Majora's Mask believe it or not quite quite sad I am truly gonna miss this LP but you know I'll save all those mushy sentiments for the end of the LP all right um you know I'll put on my freaking uh bunny hood I think this go by a little bit quicker Run, run, rabbit, go! Run, run, rabbit, snow! <laughs> if you get that reference, you are absolutely insane. I'm telling you right now. Okay. And you come over to Sakon's hideout, which is this. Yeah, impre protected by impenetrable security. Yep. Can't bust through that. It's not making any funny sounds, so it's not even bombable. And actually, Cafe is hiding right back here, believe it or not. I found him, Green Hat Boy. He's using this place as his safe house for keeping stolen goods. Apparently, his name is Sakan. He came to the shop last night, and I followed him. His storage of the things he's sto stolen is on the other side of this rock door. Only Sakan can open it. The only way to wait is the only way in is to wait for Sakan to arrive. I'll wait. I've made my promise to Anju. He will show up. Wow, man, Anju Cafe, you, you two are like the most resolute people like in any video game practically and I tell you the end of this side quest it is up there with like the most emotional moments in gaming like some people like praise like mother 3 for being extremely emotional at the end and <laughs> I can't really blame them that is probably one of my favorite most emotional moments in gaming too some people even like praise the final battle with like mother brain and super metroid where the <laughs> Oops, that's spoilers from my other LP, but they classify that as one of the most emotional moments in gaming, too. But personally, I think that this is, like, probably... It's definitely the most amazing and emotional, thought-provoking character developing in SideQuest in any Zelda game. 
Well, maybe there's one in Skyward Sword, I don't know, but... Or in... I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. But we are going to wait here with him until Sakana arrives, right, buddy? Yup. Wow, it's hard to make Link nod. That's better. <laughs> oh, boy. And I think Sakana will actually arrive at around 7 p.m. So, imagine, like, this is actually going on in real life, and you're actually waiting for hours and hours on end. And, like, just think how how much the anticipation will build, how many butterflies you would have in your stomach. Oh, my God. Ew. Uh, but Cafe is absolutely fine with it. Look at the determination on his face. You cannot deny that determination. Look at it! <laughs> just look at it. Wow. He's got cool shoes. Alright, and around this time. Ooh, there's the con. Shh, gotta be quiet. Okay, stop breathing. You might be able to hear your breathing. By the way, if Sakan actually sees you here, then he will run away and never come back. And you will lose the side quest and have to do it again. So be sure not to do that. Okay, how's he gonna open it? Oh, oh my god. It's open. Wow. I don't even know if the mic is picking this up. I hope it is. Alright, I'm just gonna stop that now. And he runs in, and Cafe runs in right after him. Dude, you gotta wait for me. Come on, we're in this together, man. Through thick and thin, we fight to the end. And here is Sakan's hideout. All these crates and everything. Uh, pots, vases, whatever. All these things he's stolen. And in here... Ah! Look, there's the mask there! It's the sun's mask! Dude, you might want to watch out. Um, exactly for that. That switch. That big honkin' blue switch. Oh no. Now I've done it. Uh-oh. Crap. Do one of those switches. Play, quick, play the LG song. Step on that switch! Oh yeah, we have two people here. We don't have to play the LG song. What? Are you telling us what to do? Well, yeah, he is. And I'm... Shut up, Tattle. You're kind of a bitch during this whole side quest, okay. She really is. I'm not even kidding. And believe it or not, right here you actually get to control Cafe. This is arguably like the first time they actually do this in a Zelda game where you get to control two different characters to solve a puzzle. Kind of like Wind Waker without the annoying command melody. There should be a device somewhere in this room that also that also opens the door. Oh, the mask! Uh-oh. What's at the end of the conveyor belt? Oh man, it's a hole. <laughs> the way I said hole there sounded kind of weird. Man, I half expected to see Sakan's little grinning smug face. Just at the end of that hole, just like pulling it with his hands. Or something. Alright, so that opens the door on the other side. That's no good. This isn't the switch. Go and check that room. There should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time. I don't like them. But that's the truth. Should be shut up. Just, just shut up about tail and whatever. Alright, so in here is a Dekubob, a kill it, and his door opens. And I love how, like, Tattle just kind of, like, moves around in between the two of us. It's kind of neat. By the way, the red buttons will actually speed up the conveyor belt, while the yellow buttons will slow it down. So that's helpful knowledge. And she goes over to Cafe now. Oh, man. This room kind of sucks, because you actually... Have, well, there's probably a puzzle where you, or a solution where you don't have to step on the red switch, but... For the fastest one, you do. But then you push a block onto a yellow switch anyway, so it kind of balances out, I guess. Right, wow. Did you see Tattle going in that massive spiral right there? That was weird. Kill the Wolfos in one fatal hit to the tail. And we just do that to open the door. And Link presses the other switch. Oh! Right in the nick of time. Yep. I got the Sun's Mask back. And you can actually miss that. If you miss it, I think there's like one extra line of dialogue from Sakan, and that's it, so I'm not going to be showing that, since it would be way too much work just to get that one line of dialogue. There's still time. I must go back to town. But I don't know how much time. We spent a fair amount of time doing that, so I'm not sure. Jeez, an hour and 12 minutes on this, re on this recording. Well, that's like 112 hours in the game, so that's weird. Alright, you can stop focusing on him. Oh my, oh my god, the final six hour stretch. Wow. 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and actually head right back to Clocktown. Yep. Oh, man. So close to the end of the side quest. It is incredible. Jeez. I just don't even know what to say anymore. It's just getting so intense now. It's the final six hours. The moon is getting massive, and there's only a few little things left for us to do in the side quest. Wow. Man.